Welcome everybody to Minute Maid Park. Hi again everybody, I'm Dwayne Kuyper with Mike Kruko, and again it looks like a great evening for a ball game. Well, it really does Kuyper, and I'm anxious to get this one started. Looking forward to a good game and we're set to go. Starting for the home team, Brandon Backey. This matchup features the Chicago White Sox and the Houston Astros. Here's the game's first batter, Scott Pesednik. First pitch of the game is a ball. The diamond pattern field really displays this talented grounds crew. He's the kind of guy managers just love. And he's pitching the relievers usually get the night off. Backy delivers another ball, 3-0. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Got behind early in the count and never caught up and surrenders the walk. Next up, Juan Uribe. This right-handed hitter is a pretty solid hitter. Kai, his first pitch is usually a strike, and he'll follow that with strike two, and hey, oftentimes he'll do strike three as well. High breaking ball. This guy could fly down. He tries to pick him off. Pickoff play. Lands foul. And he got him. Hey, he gets strike one. He just keeps plowing away for the strikeout. Kanerko is into the batter's box. One down, runner on first. That one's off the plate. And they make the play for an out. Here's Aaron Rowan. This guy is great at getting the bat on the ball. And a fastball in for a strike. This right-handed pitcher will throw three different pitches when he needs to get a batter out. Lane should have no problem. That's the third out with one man left aboard. Here is today's lineup for the home team. Today's starter for the visiting team, Freddy Garcia. Biggio is next. First pitch is a ball. One ball and no strike. He won't out of the zone, but the fish weren't biting. Ball. Two balls and no strikes. <laughs> Fastball for a strike. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, big boy. You can't hit the ball without swinging the bat, mate. Nice fastball right there. Good velocity, good placement. See you later. And he got him. He's doing a great job of messing up his timing. That was a big strikeout. Next at the plate, Adam Everett. This hitter enjoys modest success against right-handed pitching. The catch is made by Dye. Well, the hitter just put too much loft on that ball, partner. Give the fielder ample time to stroll over and make the effort. This guy does pretty well against right-handed pitching. Just not getting much on his fastball out there right now. Two down, bases empty. Nope, missed for a ball. Kai, this guy's more than capable of going the distance every time he gets on the mound. And the count is 3-0. Ball four. Nothing positive comes out of this guy nibbling. He's falling behind, he's falling behind, he finally walks the guy. Coming to the plate, Lance Berkman. A bit high, 1-0. This right-handed pitcher can fool almost any hitter. With four pitches, he'll throw in any count. Misses two balls and no strikes. He poured that fastball just out of the zone. Tough pitch to hit, but the batter didn't offer it looks to me like he's starting to lose command of his fastball. Three and one. 
He tries to keep him close with a throw over to first. Takes the walk. Blocks always seem to come around to hurt you. He falls behind the batter and just never gets back into the at-bat. Stepping in, Morgan Ensberg. Weekly hit. What a play! Oh man, a pitcher loves it when plays like this are made behind him. They're making a defensive substitution. Into the game in right field, Russ Glode. At the plate to lead off the inning, Joe Creedy. This right-hander looks lost at sea when there's a right-hander on the mound. One out. Digging in, Russ Glode. This left-handed hitter is pretty solid in the batter's box. A little shaky in the on-deck circle, but really solid in the batter's box. Up the middle. He reaches with a single. He did a great job to short up there with two strikes and get a hit. Next up, A.J. Pierzynski. Ball out of the zone. This guy has five pitches in his repertoire. Nope, miss for a ball. Infield has got to be on their toes thinking too right here, Kite. He sends the pitch out to the right side. The next batter is Willie Harris. This guy swings a decent bat, but he's probably not going to win any batting titles. This guy needs to help out his ball club. Let's see if he can take advantage of this runner on second with a base hit. Lofts one to left. And he makes the play. Well, Kai, he had a good pitch to hit, but just didn't get good wood on it. Fielder made an easy play. Now, play. now batting, Jason Lane. This guy isn't great against right-handed pitching, but he does all right. Nope, missed for a ball. Just not getting much on his fastball out there right now. Hit towards third base. And he's out. Creedy made it look easy on that out at first, guy. Here's Jose Vizcaino. Well, the manager can rely on this guy to give you a consistent at bat game after game. Missed for a ball. He pulls it to the right side. That's going to land softly for a hit. He reaches with a base hit. That was a shot. Good thing he didn't hit anybody. He could have taken an infielder's arm right off. Garcia delivers, and it's 1-0. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. Line drive up the middle. He's on first with a single. Osmus hit the ball on the ground, and then he hopes for the pass. He gets a base hit. Coming to the plate, Brandon Backey. But you should try to advance the runners with a bunt. Nothing fancy here. Pierzynski gets the out in foul territory. That'll bring up Greg Biggio. A strike thrown by Garcia. Hey, there's no old saying in baseball, big boy. You can't hit the ball without swinging the bat, meat. Didn't go. They check down at first. 
on a line up the middle. Hey, that's a great play on a very tough line drive. That's one of the toughest balls in baseball to judge. Garcia is next up. That fastball went right through the strike zone. The batter could not even touch it. In there for a strike. This righty has control problems that on occasion will lead to base on balls. And he's out on the play. Next at the plate, Scott Vesednik. And the delivery. Nope, miss for a ball. This guy will punch out more than a few batters each time he starts. A strike thrown by Backy. Did a nice job spotting the fastball right there. On the ground to the left side. Out on the play. Next up, Juan Uribe. One ball and no strikes. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. Gathers it in with his glove. That's the third out. Hey, Kite, the swing was there that time, but unfortunately for him, he hit it off the end of the bat. Everett is next up at the plate. Laid off that one for a ball. That's a liner to the second baseman. Kite, this quick reaction allowed him to make the play on that line drive. Nice play. Stepping in, Jeff Bagwell. That's a 95 mile an hour heater taken for a ball. Slider too far outside, ball. Tough play for the left fielder. Rowan puts it away with ease. Berkman steps in at the plate. One ball and no strikes. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. Ball. Fastball outside. Ball. Zero fight on that curveball. He takes his base. Oh, it's too bad he walks this guy. He just lets him get away. Emsberg digs in at the plate. Takes a pitch just off the plate, one and zero. Oh. Parker, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. Nice fastball right there. Good velocity, good placement. See you later. And a strike. Two outs. He just missed it. He's on first with a base hit. Hit that ball in the line. There was no doubt that was a base hit. The next batter is Jason Lane. The fielder is retreating. He makes the catch over his shoulder. Hit that one a little too high, Kite. Gave the fielder just enough time to make the play. After three, no score here. Canerco comes to the plate. The first baseman. Ball. Ball missed downstairs. Ball. Pitch taken for a ball. That was a purpose pitch. A changeup off the plate, hoping the batter would go chase him. Pitcher's fallen way behind, 3-0. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Kaipi showed a great eye right there. He was patient, worked the pitcher, and ended up with a free pass. Rowan will bat next. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1-0. Fastball is in. 
This dude right here is a great contact hitter. And they may be thinking about hitting and running right here. Three balls in one strike. Makes a move to first. He keeps him honest with the throw over to first. He's working himself into trouble. First and second with the walk. Oh, it's too bad he walks this guy. He just lets him get away. Digging in, Joe Greedy. Pitch taken for a ball. Close pitch right there, but the batter let the curveball go by, and the umpire called it a ball. That was a purpose pitch. Fastball out of the zone, hoping the batter would chase. Better move. He yanks a grounder to the left side. Nice concentration at second base. The second baseman did a fantastic job there with that runner barreling into him to get a good throw off to complete two. Here's Russ Glowed. Hit to the right side. That'll do it as we go to the bottom of the inning. After three and a half, the game is scoreless. He's up there in search of his second hit of the game. First pitch is a ball. One ball and no strike. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. Right one. One and two. Greedy puts it away. Coming to the plate, Brad Osmus. One ball and no strike. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. Break one. Hey, there's no saying a baseball, big boy. You can't hit the ball without swinging the bat, meat. Strike two. Down he goes on strikes. I don't know how he missed that one. Regardless, it's strike three, see ya. Next at the plate, Brandon Backey. Ball low. Fastball misses high. A ball. Part of that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. He issues the free pass. Got behind early in the count and never caught up and surrenders the walk. That'll bring Greg up Greg Vigio. He hits a line drive the other way. He's on with a two-out single. That was a nice at bat. He found a pitch he could handle and got himself a base hit. Next up, Adam Everett. Adam Everett. He sends this pitch up the middle. And he makes the catch. With four innings played, no score here. Leading off the inning, A.J. Pierzynski. That sinker didn't have very much movement on it at all. I mean, they're lucky that ball wasn't crushed. The pitch is hit down the line. 
Ensberg chases it down on the run. Those are the kind of plays that win ball games. Well, this guy hit the defense has got to be prepared for a butt. 0-1 count. That curveball is most effective when the pitcher's throwing all of his pitches over the plate. Harris takes and the count evens at one. Fastball misses up high. Nice catch on the run. Kai, you did a good job to make a play on that line, but that looked like it was going to be a base hit all the way. There's a line drive. He's around first. There's a single. The next batter is Scott Pesednik. You better not let this guy get on base. He will run you to death. He's got super wheels. Pitch taken for a ball. Terrible pitch. A slider way off the catcher's target, and the batter just watched it go by. Kipe, I still think fastball changeup is the best combination in baseball. One two count. That pitch was close to the strike zone, and the batter swung right through it. He let strike three go right by. Going into the bottom of the fifth, the game is scoreless. Coming up, the heart of the order. Bagwell gets ahead one ball and no strikes. Bagwell gets this pitch to short. They get the out on the play. Stepping in, Lance Berkman. Pitch taken for a ball. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. 2-0 the count. And the delivery. Pitcher needs to throw a strike, 3-0. That was a purpose pitch. Fastball out of the zone, hoping the batter would chase. Better move. Ball four, he walked him. Hey, partner, he showed a lot of patience in that AP. He took and took until they finally got the three pass. Coming to the plate with one single today, Morgan Ensberg. Takes a pitch high. Takes a pitch high. I like to see a hit and run in a situation like this. The pitcher's behind the count, so he has to come over, and a pitch out is unlikely. So why not hit and run? That's his pickoff move. Garcia delivers on 2-1. Three and one, a hitter's pitch. That's a free pass, putting runners on first and second. There's a very good example of a guy being patient. Saw a lot of pitches and drew a well-earned walk. Coming to the plate, Jason Lane. Hit on the ground. He's on his way to the plate. And that's the first run of the game. Hey, he does a great job finding a hole in the infield and hit the ball right through it. Now batting, Jose Vizcaino. And the pitch. Takes low. This past season, he hit 274 with three home runs and 33 RBIs. The throw pulls him off the base. That bunt was a work of art and it adds to the momentum of the inning. Stepping in, one for two, Brad Osmus. Pitch misses. That missed up. Ball. The batter needs to be patient right here and get a pitch he can drive to the outfield. Ball. Taken for a ball. Right. 
three and two. Run scores on the bases loaded walk. Hey, meet, make him earn it. Killing me. Here comes the first pitch of the at bat. Backy takes inside for a ball. All this guy's got to do is hit the ball marginally deep, and they should score the run from third easily. The White Sox have someone up in the bullpen. That one just missed. Get the other way out to right. Catch made by Glode. The base runner comes in to score on the sacrifice fly. He's able to hit the fly ball of the outfield and score the run. That's what he's up there for. And that's another run surrendered by Garcia. To the plate with a single already in the game, Greg Vigio. The pitch. Ground ball to the first baseman. Got him for the out. With five innings played, Houston leads by three. Here's Juan Uribe. He crushed that one. And he makes the catch in stride. Kaif, he really gave that one a ride, but just got under a, a little too much and just missed the dinger. What a win. Ball. Canerco takes it, it's high. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. Ground ball hit the other way to the right side. This one's out to center field. He's on with a one-out single. Kite coming through on plays like that can turn this ball up around. Rowan lays off the pitch in off the plate for a ball. Hey, partner, if the pitcher can keep the ball low in the zone, he might be able to induce a ground ball to start, too. Line sharply and through, a base hit. He's aboard with a one-out single. He was able to get the job done that time. A hit like that can really boost this ball club. Next at the plate, Joe Creedy. That one just missed. And the delivery. Ball. Out of the zone, that's a ball. Right now would be a good time to move the middle infielders towards the bag at second to try and get that ground ball double play. It's a full count. He's out swinging. Uh, you got to be a little more picky up there with two strikes. That was a bad pitch. That'll bring up Russ Glode. Takes a pitch just off the plate. One and zero. Oh. Two on, two outs. Ball. Two balls and no strikes. Break one. Ball. Three and one. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Long drive and that ball is out of here. He knew that one was gone the second he hit it. What a shot. Now, 
Next up, A.J. Kuzinski. Pitch misses, says the umpire. The delivery. It was gone when it left the bat. This guy looks like he may be done. His body language looks very strained. The Astros have action in the bullpen. A left-hander is warming up. Up next, Willie Harris. Okay, he's going to feed this guy crumbs because the pitcher's hitting next. Pitch misses. Swing and a miss on the hook. That will fall in for a base hit. He reaches with a two-out single. The Astros have a left-hander and a right-hander warming up in the bullpen. Stepping in, one for two, Freddy Garcia. He tries to pick him off. He sends this pitch to center. Berkman will get there. Out number three as we head to the home half. Heading into the bottom of the inning, the score is four to three. The next batter is Adam Everett. I see zero zip on his pitches today. Hit to the right side. There's the first out of the inning. One ball, no strikes to count. The target being set by the catcher is leading to too many walks, and it's forcing the pitcher to work way too hard. Bagwell takes a ball high. Gets a line drive. He reaches with a base hit. This guy can't get anybody out. Look at that broken to see for somebody else to do the job. This switch hitter is much more comfortable batting from the right side. They've set that defense a double play depth. If you can get a ground ball right here, they might get two. Oh. Misses. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your picks. That's exactly what you saw right there. going to drop in there for a base hit. He's on with a single. That's another hit given up by Garcia. Polite is up and throwing in the bullpen. Taken for a ball. Ensberg lays off ball two. I wonder what they're trying to do here. A lot of these pitches are ending up out of the zone. And the walk puts runners on every base. He's giving up way too many free passes. Stepping in, Jason Lane. Ball out of the zone. Nope. Ground ball pulled down to the left side. Two out. Polite is warming his arm up in the bullpen. Here's 
Jose Vizcaino. That's a two-out base on balls. They're obviously a fit of his big bat, so they'll put him aboard. That'll bring up Brad Osmus. Ball outside. Low for a ball. Pitch misses. Three balls in one strike. Get out of line. A run crosses the plate. The throw is not in time. A double and two RBIs. He not only did he get himself two RBIs on that double, but he put himself in great position to score if somebody else can get a hit. The White Sox bring in a new pitcher. Marte comes in from the bullpen. Delivery taken for a ball. They're gonna have to do something out there. Some of these pitches ain't even close. Pitch taken for a ball. That was a purpose pitch. Fastball out of the zone, hoping the batter would chase. Better move. Pitcher needs to throw a strike. It's three and zero. Oh. That was a great pitch to hit right down the middle, but he couldn't pull the trigger. Strike two. Full count here. Let's see if he can take advantage of the situation right here and help out his team. He takes strike three. With three innings remaining, the score is six to four. The Astros call for a reliever. Here's the relief pitcher, Mike Gallo. This guy's got great speed. He puts a lot of pressure on the infield when he puts the ball in play. Sends a shallow fly out to center. He's on first with a leadoff single. He didn't get all that, but hey, it's out of the reach of the outfielders, and it's going to be a hit. Coming to the plate, Juan Uribe. Well, this guy hit, the defense has got to be prepared for a bunt. Pesednik is running on the pitch. The throw is late. Hey, Kipe, he got a tremendous jump there and swipes second with little effort. No outs and one man aboard. Well, he was not expecting that pitch, and it was obvious by the stunned look he had on his face as he watched it go by. Uribe strikes out. Kaki does a good job there to battle back after falling behind to get the K. Kanerko to the plate. Laid off that one for a ball. He fouled it off to the right. If he gets up, he'll be the tying run. The key to scoring a lot of runs is cashing in with runners in scoring position. Let's see if this guy can cash in with this guy on second. And the count is three and two. He's working himself into trouble. First and second with the walk. Oh, partner, that's a terrible time to be walking hitters. Stepping in, one for two, Aaron Rowan. That's a ball. Taken for a ball. He turns on one and hits a sharp liner. 
Up next, Joe Creedy. Pulled to the left side. A three-pitch strikeout. Time for the seventh inning stretch, Mike. Great. You hold down the fort while I go grab a cold beverage. Stepping in one for four, Greg Vigio. He sends this pitch to right field. Load with the easy catch. Better just got under that one. Fielder had no problem getting the out. Digging in, Adam Everett. Pitch taken for a ball. He hacked at it and missed. One and two. Strike three and he's gone. Sometimes you just got to make a good pitch and that was one of them. Big K right there, partner. Stepping in one for three, Jeff Bagwell. Liner right at the second baseman. With two innings left to play, the score is six to four. The Astros go to the bullpen. Wheeler comes in to try to provide some relief. Here's Russ Glode. And here's the pitch. He goes the other way. Gathers it in with his glove. And he's there safely. Hey, great hitters have a knack for finding holes and getting base hits. Digging in with one home run already, A.J. Pierzynski. Pickoff attempt. The pitch is stroked out to right field. Lane makes the play for the out. Well, Kai, if he had a good pitch to hit, but just didn't get good wood on it. The fielder made an easy play. He's not going to advance the runner if he keeps bunting that ball foul. And he pushes that bunt down the line. Out at first base. That was good fundamental baseball. He got the bunt sign and was able to execute. Moving the runner up 90 feet. The next batter is Frank Thomas. Two down, runner on second. Swings at that one and misses. Out of the zone, that's a ball. Look like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. But so far, the batters are taking these pitches. Look like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. But so far, the batters are taking these pitches. Not close. That's a ball. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. He's working himself into trouble. First and second with the walk. There's a very good example of a guy being patient. Saw a lot of pitches and drew a well-earned walk. With this guy hitting kite, the infielders should be on their toes. This guy's got some great wheels. First pitch. Takes a pitch just off the plate. 1-0. and He hits the pitch up the middle. A run scores on the play. That's the tying run. Well, he keeps his hands back on the curve and smokes it. The White Sox have activated the bullpen. 
The corners are hugging the lines. Next at the plate, Juan Uribe makes a pickoff throw. Taken for a ball. Pretty good time to send the runner, and they've got the perfect guy to send. Heater down low for a ball. Over to first. He leaps and makes the catch for the out. Heading into the bottom of the eighth, the game's tied at six. He already has one base hit today. Pitch misses. The catcher set up on the corner, but the batter showed a good eye and took the changeup for a ball. Close pitch right there, but the batter let it go by and the umpire called it a ball. Hit towards the shortstop. They got him at first. The White Sox have someone warming up in the bullpen. Coming to the plate, Morgan Ensberg. Down low for a ball. Look like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind, but so far the batters are taking these pitches. Sometimes you try to make a hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Ball. Pitch taken for a ball. The count runs full. He's punched out on strikes. Hey, sometimes you make a good pitch, and that was one of them. Big strike out there, partner. Up next, Jason Lane. Pitch misses for a ball. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. That's three outs, and the inning is over. After eight innings, this contest is tied. They'll make the double switch here. Palmero will come off the bench to bat in the pitcher's spot while the pitcher will hit sixth. Stepping in one for two, Paul Konerko. It's the last inning, and it's still anybody's ball game. Late on the fastball. In there for a strike. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Three pitches, three strikes, doesn't get any easier than that, partner. Take slow. 1-0 pitch. There's a strike. The pitcher threw one right out of the strike zone, and sure enough, the batter went right after it. Palmero makes the routine catch. Stepping in, Joe Creedy. Popped him up. Lidge gets them one, two, three. Going into the bottom of the ninth, it's tied at 6-6. Six to six. Now batting, Jose Vizcaino. On the ground. He reaches with a leadoff single. Next up, Brad Osmonds. The defense needs to be ready for the punt. Pickoff play at first base. 
lays down the bunt. If that's his best effort at a sack bunt, then I suggest he swing next time. Got him for the out. That was good, fundamental baseball. He got the bunt sign and was able to execute, moving the runner up 90 feet. The next batter is Orlando Palmero. Swings and misses 0-1. Inside, one ball and one strike. That's a good idea pitch right there. A curveball off the plate, hoping the batter would go chasing. Take slow. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. And it's low. It's hit up the middle. He's around third. That's the winning run. The game is over. Lidge picks up the W. The loss is charged to Dustin Hermanson. The Houston Astros win it by one. The losing pitcher. Please return to the 